Hey guys, I know I've done this before, but I want to throw a quick shout out to another channel out there, C and Arsenal. I know a lot of you guys are familiar with them, but just looking at view and subscriber counts, I know there are a ton of you guys who are not probably familiar with them. Uh, C and Arsenal is Othias and May, and they are doing every gun that was in World War One, and they're doing a fantastic job of it. I know they're one of the few other uh, gun-related YouTube channels that I make a point to always watch. Their research is impeccable. They do long-form video between 45 minutes and an hour and a half per episode, one every two weeks. So it is a relatively uh, infrequent thing, but I think the quality of their research absolutely makes up uh, for the, the time between episodes coming out. And honestly, there's no other way to do it. Uh, my content is much shallower in depth than theirs, uh, but more frequent, and that's the trade-off. At any rate, the reason I'm doing this right now is CN Arsenal is in the middle of their uh, regular annual fundraising drive. They do uh, a line of t-shirts that they pre-order and then make to order. So they're not trying to uh, stock t-shirts all the time. Uh, they take in orders and then once the campaign is complete, they do this all through Kickstarter. Uh, then they make the shirts and send them out. So they do a, a couple of different designs each time. This particular time, they are doing this cool world standard Maxim uh, shirt as they are in the process. They've done one Maxim video so far and I think there are two more coming uh, or one Maxim model. Uh, there are two more coming for World War I. Uh, they also have a couple other shirts based on the various different nationalities that were in World War I. You may have seen me wearing a blue uh, French one, naturally, uh, with a, a cross la belle and Berthier and the French uh, motto, uh, Liberté, Egalité, Fraternité. Well, they have two new ones that they're introducing this year. One is the British one, uh, God Save the King, with a stacked pile of Lee Enfields. Uh, and they also have an Italian one. So previously they did Austro uh, the Austro-Hungarian Empire, they did the US, they did Germany, and they did France, and now they're adding Great Britain and Italy. So uh, you can get one, you can get two, you can get all three. Uh, they don't have color options. Those are specific to the individual shirts. And if you're looking for a way to really help support some of the best in-depth research out there currently on YouTube on firearms, uh, specifically World War I firearms, CN Arsenal is absolutely the best place to do that. So uh, Othias was uh, kind enough to get me uh, these two shirts early um, so that I can bring them to you guys while their fundraising drive is still going. Uh, make sure to take a look at the description text below. There's a link there to their Kickstarter and uh, it's already been reasonably successful, and hopefully with your help it can be phenomenally successful and really help push them across the line to finish what has become uh, a dwindling list of very rare and very cool World War I firearms. Thanks for watching.